do you want me to say? I, I'm not... I'm not ready for you to go. But you live here? And I live across the ocean? <laughs> it has to end sometime. Well, we'll talk about that when the danger's over, then. The Balkans after Brenda, not me. Look, you can spin it however you want, but it's not safe for you to go back to Ireland. And, and I would feel a lot better if you were here so I could keep an eye on you and make sure that everything's okay. I mean, I can call the department and have a few guys look after you. Well, I, I might be safer here. Am I not? But if I stay, I do things my way. It's fine. Well, I'm, good. I'm not trying to control you. Good. I'm glad we finally agree. Okay. What are you doing? Where are you going? Well, I'll need to find a job and a place to live. Uh, this is kind of... Hey, Lucky, it's, uh, it's Nicholas. What were you saying? Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Hi. Hi. Uh, I was relieved to hear that you're all right. Thank you. Would you tell your brother that I won't be moving in or depending on him in any way? Excuse me. any time with Siobhan, are you? Still mixed up with this whole Balkan mess, so I asked her to stay so I could protect her. Oh, so it's strictly business. Oh, yeah. I'm completely objective when it comes to Siobhan. I mean, the fact that she's smart and beautiful and fascinating doesn't factor in in the slightest. That's good to know. But you didn't come by to talk about Siobhan, did you? No. <clears throat> Mom called. I broke the news to her that the uh, Scorpio house burned down. That's the one she grew up in, right? Yeah. How'd she take it? That's actually better than expected. She's uh, she's getting stronger, man. Yeah, that institute in Paris seems to be doing her a world of good. Anyway, she she asked me to send her some old photos of the house. I went to Lulu. She said, "Come ask you." Yeah, I'll, I'll take care of it. I think I know the album that Mom's looking for. It's at the Royal Street House, so... Okay, great. Thank you, I appreciate it. I'll just make my way out. Hey, Nicholas? Yeah? What do you think of me and Siobhan? Uh, what do I think? Well, I, I only know her from her brief stay at Windermere. It seems like you two compliment each other well. Beyond that, it's, uh, it's difficult to say. Say it. You really want my opinion? I need another one besides my own. Okay, then. <laughs> I don't know, I think, you, I think you and Siobhan are having sort of a uh, wartime romance. You know, heightened emotions, life or death stakes. Maybe there's something real between you. Maybe. Just, just say it. I know where you're going with this. Okay. Maybe you're latching on to Siobhan because she's new. And she doesn't have a connection to the way Elizabeth and I betrayed you. Sorry to be so blunt about that. Hey, man. I ask for the honesty. You have every right to speak your mind. Yeah, honestly, I, I just think that the way Elizabeth and I betrayed you might be pushing you in a direction that you're just not ready to go. And again, this is, this is not about me asking for forgiveness. I don't expect it or deserve well, it. Let's I'm, just I'm drop just it. To... Well, look, you're, you're still dealing with, with a huge loss. Lucky, you planned this entire future with Elizabeth, and now it's just gone. Oh, so you're saying I'm, I'm, I'm rebounding with Siobhan? Well, hey, I've been there. After I lost Emily, I jumped into it with... Nadine, and then right into it with Rebecca, I mean, maybe Elizabeth too, it's I don't not know. not the same, okay? I mean, Emily died, Elizabeth and I just outgrew each I, other. I just, for me, I think you're still reeling, desperate to latch on to something, anything. Well, I don't feel desperate. <laughs> I mean, Siobhan's a wonderful woman. No, no, no I, I know you care about her. I'm just cautioning you to go into this with open eyes, that's all. I'll see you.